episode, episode two. Well, I finally finished putting together the methane digester. Sitting right here on my kitchen table. I like to zoom in real quick and show you something that my brother made, and that's that smoking guitar box right there. That is amazing, isn't it? But that's another story. Anyhow, let's come on back in here. So as you see what I have here in the green 7-Up bottle, that is where my compost is. And if you look in the bottom, I'll show you. You can see some nasty stuff in there breaking down. That's leaves, dog fecal matter, coffee, plums, all kinds of stuff inside there. And it's yummy. And it's running to about this level right here. Yeah. So as that stuff breaks down, it fills up this chamber. As you see, it's already been breaking down. It fills up this chamber with the methane gas. Then the methane gas will flow into here, which you'll see in episode three. By that time, my little seals, these red seals, it's automotive uh, silicon. So uh, in episode three, you'll see when these are actually full of water. But the whole point is, it comes out of the top of the methane digester right here, flows through this hose, down inside here, which will be below water level. And the whole point is, is once these seals dry, this will be full of water, and that's going to scrub it for me. It's going to take the CO2 out, which is not good uh, for burning. And it's also bad for exhaust. We're going to clean up this natural gas, methane, uh, with a water scrubber. Also, the other hose you see, which runs down through here into the bottom of the scrubber, is from a, uh, it's going to be a fill line. This one here is going to hold more water, over double the water that this one here will. So what will happen is, is the methane pushes through the tube, as the methane pushes through the tube through pressure, once this can't hold its pressure no more, it's going to literally come down through here, through the methane scrubber, which is going to fill this chamber up, which is going to be the chamber that we're holding our methane supply. Okay, so it's going to fill this chamber up, and by doing that, it's going to push the water through the bottom here, up through this hose, and this main one pushing it up here. Now, we are going to have air in here that's already negative, so it's going to compress it completely up in there, and that's going to give our pressure as it pushes back through the system, back and forth, to keep this pressurized at all time with methane gas, because once we start lidding it, we don't want to light back in the system, and well, uh, what happens when you ignite methane? So I'll tell you what, I'll see you in episode three when these are full up with water, and we'll take it to the next step. Thank you.